this is a bacteria that we will find uh, in the soil and in, in the environment. Um, and so uh, it's, it's something that sort of surrounds us. It's not uh, terribly unique. It's unusual to see causing infections in humans. And so when we do see it, we worry about things getting contaminated that, that shouldn't be uh, with, with sort of soil organisms and things like that. And uh, knowing uh, the kinds of patients who are getting infected, where this bug usually lives, uh, we can start, start to hone in on where is this coming from, how is this getting in and causing human infections. Most bacterial infections like this are not going to be easily transmitted from person to person. Um, and so I wouldn't expect it to be uh, transmitted from person to person, especially those who have a bloodstream infection from this. Uh, what I think is important is we find out where this is coming from, where, what, is, what is the source of this, uh, so that we can um, figure out how do we stop further transmission. What we know so far is that this is an infection that we're seeing mostly in Wisconsin, but also now in some of the surrounding states uh, Michigan and Illinois. Uh, so far there have been about 60 people affected um, and for the most part it's been bloodstream infections, meaning bacteria, this bacteria getting into the blood and causing uh, infection there. Some of them are, are infected in the lungs, causing pneumonia and other areas such as the skin causing cellulitis.